Airtable basically gives you superpowers when it comes to working and managing your data. What is even more powerful though, is when you can leverage it, not just for yourself, but for your entire team. And so today we're going to talk about sharing and collaboration in Airtable, which might sound straightforward and it is really, um, but has a few confusing things that we're going to talk about. In fact, if you go to your Airtable base, you've probably seen there are two different share buttons just to start. So we'll talk about the differences between the different sharing options and how you can use it to collaborate with your team. Airtable basically has two distinct types of sharing options, collaborators or sharing links. And if you can understand the difference between those two, you'll basically know how to do everything you need when it comes to Airtable collaboration. So let's start with collaborators. If we come over to this big share button on the top right, this is a great place to start. And you'll notice a bunch of different sharing options. We'll talk about sharing views versus sharing bases and invites and, and all of this in a second, but let's just start with the email invite. And so this is what you would call an Airtable collaborator. If I wanted to invite my teammate, so Curtis at whalesync.com, right? I can add them as either a creator with full permissions or a limited set of permissions and invite them. And that works just like any other SaaS app you're probably used to, where that person gets invited to join your Airtable account, they get access to the space, they can view it, they can edit it, and be your teammate in working on this data. But note that when a user gets invited as a collaborator like this, they get added as a billable user to your account. So Airtable doesn't give you a free lunch here. Despite the little caveat around pricing, all of that should hopefully be really straightforward. Uh, creator, editor, commenter, this is all explained in what permissions you get. Where it gets a little trickier is when it comes to links. So here we can create an invite link, and this will basically let you share access um, to your base for other collaborators. So again, key thing here is that you're still asking people to join as a billable user. It's just a matter of how you invite them. So straightforward email invite versus a link. That link again can have special permissions. Um, it can also say, I only want to allow people that work at WhaleSync or allow anyone. Um, you can have customization over this, but still we're in the world of collaborators. Again, other than what you send to them, this should all be pretty straightforward. Now let's get into the fun part of Airtable's collaboration, which is sharing things publicly, also known as base sharing links. So if we click on this third tab here, you'll see enable shared base link. And if I go ahead and toggle that on, it will create a link here. Now, this is very different from this link on create link. This is link madness. <laughs> but uh, despite the, the little bit of craziness here, bear with me, sharing publicly, creating a base sharing link doesn't create a collaborator. You can actually send this around to anyone you want, even make it public to the entire world, and you won't get billed more. The key difference here is that you're not letting people edit this data. It's really just for viewing it. Um, and again, you probably don't want to do this with something like a CRM, but if you're making an Airtable base for the purpose of sharing it publicly, this base sharing link can be incredibly useful. So if I take this and copy it and pop it into a new tab, you'll see this version of our base. Now I can't edit it, right? This is just the base sharing link version. Um, I don't have permissions for that. Again, as just someone that's viewing this, uh, but this is shareable. And I can even copy this base if I allow it um, and share it as a template. Again, this is super useful for things like a public directory, but if you wanted to have it be something that's just shared internally at your company, you can do things like restricting access by an email or even restricting with a password. Airtable gives you a lot of options here, but it is just a very cool feature that you don't get in your classic SaaS app. Now let's talk a little bit about shared views. So to date, everything we've talked about has been about sharing a base, right? Whether it's with a collaborator or publicly, this is giving people access to everything, all of the tables, all of your data in your base. A shared view is a much smaller slice of sharing and collaboration, right? And the idea is to say, maybe I don't wanna share all of my data in the base or even all the data in a table. I just wanna share a small snippet. So what we can do is click on the shared view, toggle this on. Right now, this is a grid view that we're saying is shareable. We can even just do my calendar view, right? And turn that on. And when this is on, we again get this nice shareable link. We can pop this open in another tab. 
and it is just this view. So any data that's in the rest of my table, even in this table and a different view isn't visible. It's just this calendar. So lastly, let's talk a little bit about the other share button. Again, we talked about this in the beginning. There's this big share button. It has all of the different options that you want. And then there's this little share view button. And as you might have guessed, it's just a quick way to access what we just did. Um, so if we go to, let's go to another view. Uh, let's open up my timeline view here and then share view, create link to view. And the exact same thing we just did happened again. If we go ahead and copy and paste that link, we've got a nice little shared view that we can use and give to others. Um, nothing different from your big share button, just a quick and easy way to access it. That's all you need to know about Airtable sharing for now. So happy sharing and enjoy using the power of Airtable with your teammates.